Hey, I'm Justin with the Real Estate Wholesalers Club, and there is an epidemic going on right now in our society. The mindless masses, the clones, there is a sickness of the mind that's perpetrated upon the people, and I'm going to expose it right now. I want you to set yourself free from this because did you know 43% of Americans, they have less than $10,000 to retire on. Did you also know that if you're an average college graduate, you're going to have 10 or 15 different jobs by the time you're 38 years of age. Also, everybody used to quit working at age 65, but people are working well into their 70s right now. We're going to talk about the commonalities of this disease, the symptoms, and I want you to expose it in your mind and get free today. I was 30 years old when I made my first million dollars. That's a fact. On paper, I was a millionaire. And I was young and I was dumb. And I fucked it all away. I lost it all. And getting it back has been very difficult. And I have learned some serious hardcore lessons. I had this mind disease and I've conquered the mind disease. And I want you to accomplish the same thing beat it. I'm going to show you what the symptoms are and evaluate yourself because you can be the only one that can make the change for you. If you have these symptoms, Dr. Justin is in the house and he's going to show them to you and he's going to send you home with a prescription to get it right. So it doesn't matter if you've already made the money or if you're planning on making the money. You need to evaluate yourself because this one sickness and I call it a disease of the mind because that's really what it is it will rob you of everything it did me I'm a perfect example and I'm gonna tell you something it hurts it hurts to never achieve but it also hurts to achieve and then take a step back so let's take a look real quick at the five top symptoms of this sickness of the mind what would be holding you back or robbing you of your future of prosperity and peace. Symptom number one, spineless and weak. This is something that's just so prevalent right now in our society. People have been taught to be spineless and weak. Please just don't offend anyone. Please just live a, a mundane, boring, crap-ass existence where no one can be jealous or envious or offended at anything. It's a sickness of the mind. Are you what we used to call a coward? Is that offensive to you? Are you a coward? Are you what we used to call chicken shit? Are you afraid to step out because of old man if? Have you ever heard of old man if? Well, let me introduce him to you. Old man if is... Well, what happens if this happens? What happens if they don't like it? What happens if they say this? What happens if I fail? What happens if I don't succeed at the level that I want and I'm embarrassed? What happens if, 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 if? Symptom number one. Don't be a chicken shit if kind of guy or gal. Go for it. You would be better off to go for it and to mess up than to never go for it at all. Symptom number two. They are not decision makers. This is a big symptom, guys putzing around, thinking about it. Well, I could do this. I could do that. What kind of style of wholesaling do I want to get into? I like bank-owned wholesaling, but I kind of want to do joint venture mobile wholesaling. And I also kind of like want to do the wholesaling lease option. So I'm just going to try to be very lukewarm at all of it. Pick something. Be decisive. The wealthy amongst us in our society are very, very quick to make decisions and very, very slow to change those decisions. Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? 
And that is a go-getter mentality. Just decide. Just do something. Just go for it. Make a decision and get some focus about it and some intent. Now, we probably have all heard about the book, The Secret, and maybe even watched the movie a half a dozen times. And if I could sum it up, I would sum it up like this. Make a decision. Get focused on it and go for it because the universe is ready to align itself with you and your desires and your passions and your focus if you can change that mindset up there and start making decisions most of us are floating along downstream like dead fish any old dead fish can float downstream you gotta stop that shit you gotta stop that you gotta start swimming you gotta start determining where you wanna go I used to tell my son when he was a little bit younger and I still tell him today if you don't control this mind, if you don't learn how to think, if you don't learn how to make decisions for yourself, someone else is going to make those decisions for you. Somebody else is going to already set the path for you and you're not going to like it. Well, I got news for a lot of us. A lot of us are already on that path and other people have decided for us what, what kind of neighborhood we're going to live in, what kind of job we're going to work, what kind of pay we're going to make, what kind of food we're going to eat, what kind of car we're going to drive. Somebody else has already made that decision and we just kind of went along with it. One, because of symptom number one, we're chicken shit. And then number two, because we just can't make a decision about what we want. Know what you want. Jesus said it like this in the New Testament. He said, hey, Whatever you desire, when you pray, believe you receive it, and you'll have it. That kind of faith moves mountains is what he said. But the first thing, we always catch up on the, the, the pray and believe part. But the very first thing is to desire something, to make a decision to have something. Symptom number three. Not getting in action. Something about breaking through and having great ideas. If you have great ideas, you have great passion, you have this white hot desire inside you and you're focused and you're doing something. That is what makes a difference in this world. If you choose to not do those ideas, if you choose to not move forward, the universe will take those things from you and give them to someone else who will do something with them. This is the shit's hard to come up with, man. It's like catching lightning in a bottle. I already got that. You got what? Lightning in a bottle. I've had lots of great ideas in my life. One time I had an idea of having a toothbrush that had toothpaste in it. I know it's a silly idea, but it was an idea that I thought up of. And, and you know, I thought maybe I could make a lot of money with this idea. And you know what I did with it? Nothing. I did nothing with it. And then about four or five months later, I went to the store and I, I saw a toothbrush that had toothpaste already built into it. Yeah, I didn't move on the idea, and so the universe gave it to somebody else that would put it into action. How many great ideas have you had? I bet more than a couple. I bet you've had a few good ideas in your life. And you might be one of those clones. You might be one of those people, but the universe has spoken to you a time or two and said, hey, do this. You should do this. You should move on this. You should get in motion on this. An app that all the people could download and then we make millions. And then instead of doing that, we sit back on the couch and we Netflix binge and we do other stupid shit that wastes our time instead of developing ourselves and developing these great ideas that the universe gives us. And so what happens is the universe takes that away from us because we're not worthy. We're not worthy. And, he, and the universe gives them to someone else that will do something with it. Symptom number three, not being a person of action. Symptom number four, making excuses. Oh, I've got excuses. I don't have any good excuses, but I've got excuses. Yeah, I couldn't do that today because, oh, well, I had to take the kid to the dentist or I had to go get a haircut or, or maybe the car needed some extra something done to it today. I had to do this and the other thing and this and that and whatever. And then next thing you know, I haven't done anything. I haven't been a person of action. I don't know if it's because I'm chicken shit or I can't make a decision or maybe I'm just lazy, not a person of action. Or, or maybe it's just simply because I'm a, a person that just loves excuses. I love just coming up with reasons not to be a better person. Excuses. What are your excuses? I know you've got some. What are they? Would you tell me what your excuses are?
I think some of the one-on-one -on -one coaching students are surprised that when we're having our one-on-one -on -one consultations and they're talking about this and that and how they're scared and, and they don't know if they want to move forward and I'll just call their bluff. And I'll just say, hey, is it that you're really scared that somebody's going to eat you over the telephone? Do you think they're really going to eat you over the telephone? Or are you just scared that you're not good enough, that you're not smart enough? Are you, are you being disabled? Are you becoming a, 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 an, emotional and an, an emotional and a mental cripple, so to speak, because of all of these excuses that you keep letting pour out of your mouth? Well, I'll do that when I get to this. I don't have enough money for this yet, or I don't have enough time for this yet, or I don't know how this works, so I, I'm going to study some more. I'm going to watch some more YouTube videos excuses. They're lies. You know what excuses really are? They're lies. Lies dressed up to look like the truth. But the fact is, excuses ruin your life. The final symptom, symptom number five, being a negative ass person. Don't you love negative people? No, you don't. You don't like hanging around people that don't want to celebrate your ideas. You don't like hanging around people that want to celebrate you for who you are. You don't like hanging around people that just tolerate you. You want to be around people that celebrate you. You want to be around yes. people that love your ideas and think they're wonderful. Yes. Yeah, that's what we want. Yes. But what about you? Are you a negative person? No! Are you are you celebrating your ideas? Are you celebrating you? Are you celebrating the things that the universe is bringing and presenting to you as opportunity to move ahead in life and to have the things that you want? Are you moving forward with that or are you just a negative fuck? And the Chances are you've been programmed to be a negative fuck. I know what your mom did. That was wrong. You were just a little girl, and you're still that little girl, just a lot more corpsey and with really bad teeth. But I want to shake you out of this. I want to shake you out of it. This negative self-talk bullshit, you've got to stop it. What would you do? Some of you, I know what you would do. If your child came up and he was just negative, negative, negative all the time, you would set him down and you'd say, hey, now listen to me, little mister. Listen to me, little miss. This is how it's going to be. You're going to straighten up your act and you're going to be positive and you're going to smile and go play and have a good time and you're going to let this stuff go. You know who the real child is? Right here. That's the real child. Have you ever set him down, set her down, and said, now you listen to me. This is how it really is. And you're going to knock this negative shit off. You're going to stop it right now. Dead in its tracks. If you haven't, that's part of your prescription. I'm starting a series right now, and it's called Mind Over Matter Mondays. We're going to be talking about the things that really matter, which is your mind. All of the rest of this stuff, all of the money, all of the business, all of the success, all of the, all of the, the everything that you're seeking in life, that's a side effect of what's happening right here. And I want you to understand that I understand, because I've been there, and I still deal with these things myself every single day. Negative self-talk. Nuh-uh. Uh-uh. You gotta tell that little voice up here that just never shuts the fuck up. Never, ever, ever stops fucking talking. Just all the time. You, your lips might be sealed. Still fucking going, ain't he? Still up there just fucking real rattling around or negative ass thoughts. Stop him! Stop her. Treat her like a child. I'm going to teach you how to act. I'm going to teach you how to talk. I'm going to teach you how to be something bigger than you are, better than you are. I'm not going to let things go to plan like a, like a dead fish floating down the, the river of life. Check us out, realestatewholesalersclub.com. Get some training. Get some mentoring in the group over on Facebook. Let's make a difference. Let's start doing that first deal. Buy that real estate that's six inches right between those ears. I love you guys. You can do it. I believe in you. 
How many of you in here want to make a million dollars? How many of you want to be a millionaire on paper? I'm talking about the real black and white. Yeah, a lot of you do. And these are the things, this is the sickness of the mind that is going to kill your dreams. Guys, we're going to talk about next time we get together, we're going to talk about the five things that winners do. Those symptoms, there's commonalities in that as well. Until then, remember, real estate wholesaling is way better than having a job. Hey, thanks for watching. But don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.